Miles Bird is a 6'7 guard from Stockton, California, entering his sophomore season on the Mesa. It must feel like it's gone quick. I mean, from the time you got to campus to being a third year player, you've become one of the more veteran players yeah. on the team. What's it like from your perspective? Yeah, no, it's kind of a crazy experience, you know, coming in here, being the youngest guy in the whole entire program, uh, staff included, and then, you know, fast forward two years and there might be two or three guys still on the team from my freshman year and, you know, a lot of new faces, but I mean, it's college basketball nowadays, you know. You've got to be so motivated, to your point. I mean, you've been here for some of the top moments in the history of the program. Obviously, two years ago at the national championship game last year, you're playing in a Sweet 16 in Boston. But all these new faces, how motivated are you with what's to come here this year? Oh, extremely. You know, uh, since I've been here, we've been to Sweet 16 both years. So, I mean, that's my norm here at San Diego State. So I feel like that's where I'm still going to keep it as a norm. Uh, despite having a lot of new faces, I think we're talented enough to get there. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for what we could do. Why do you think it is that Aztec fans have really wrapped their arms around you, so to speak? I mean, you've been a fan favorite at VA House Arena each of the last two years. What is it about your game, you think? I would say it's probably my, one of my favorite words in the world, which is energy. You know, I think that's something I bring. Even my freshman year when I wasn't playing, me and Elijah, every opportunity we had, we were going to be up and standing and sharing. And then last year, you know, finding ways on the court for me was just playing with energy and playing my heart out, uh, diving for loose balls, you know, getting the crowd involved after a big play, like stuff like that was gonna keep me on the court. So that's what I really embraced. And I mean, truthfully, that's kind of my personality in a sense, you know. I wouldn't say a people's pleaser, but you know, I love, I love to just get energy out of people. How do you describe your, your on-court game? I would say, um, Defensive minded first now, and that's more of what happens when you come to San Diego State. You know, you, you really take pride in defense being first. Definitely a defensive minded guy. Uh, offensively, you know, I play make and I, I, I can shoot it. I'm taller for my position, which means got to get a little bit stronger so I can take shorter guards into the post. But I think I'm a overall playmaker on both ends of the ball. You take a lot of pride in your ability to block shots as a guard? Uh, I wouldn't say I take pride in it. I think it's just kind of a, something that I've always had in my game. I don't know if it's a timing aspect or if it's the fact that I have really long arms and normally guard people who are shorter than me. Like, I think uh, the one career high I had was against New Mexico, and I'm guarding probably a 6'2", 6'3", and 6' foot. So, I mean, I think it's the fact that I play bigger than my position. When you look at this off season for you with all the new faces, what's that process been like acclimating on floor, friendships off floor? How would you say the whole process has gone? Our coaches know who to recruit. You know, we, we know the right persons to recruit. Everybody coming in, they, they working hard. We have multiple guys coming in who are being vocal leaders. The older guys, Nick Boyd, Jared Coleman Jones. So there's a lot of guys that are using their voices. For me, just being one of the guys that knows the culture I think that's been the biggest thing for me is just like keeping the culture to culture because I've seen it before. So, you know, uh, trying to make sure we do all the same things we did the past two years in our warm ups and like our superstitions that we have, like trying to keep those the main thing. And yeah, just lead. And I, I think I had the blueprint from the past two years. I think I had a lot of older guys that showed me what great leadership is. So it's been an easy, a easy adjustment. What is it about San Diego State where it seems like the team gets better as the season goes on? It goes on, and that's going to be critical this year because, mm -hmm. yeah, you have the tough non-conference schedule, but we know what will matter, which is the conference schedule and then mm -hmm. the conference tournament as well. I think it's just the way we're so intentional in everything we do. Like I said, you know, uh, the way we practice, the way we scout and prepare for our opponents. I think when you, when you start the season doing that, and especially because we'll have a lot of young guys this year. So starting the season, you know, it's going to be an adjustment probably, like the scout in general. However, when you do that so many times, it gets easier and easier and easier. And that's why I think we improved during the season because we just continue to work the same way we've worked since summer. And, uh, you know, you're building great habits. You're getting a great scout from a great coaching staff. You know, they're basically giving us a blueprint to go out there and win games. What do you want to see from yourself this year as you continue to evolve as a player? I mean, obviously you have team goals, there's no question about it, but where will you grow as a player this year? I think just being more steady. I think I had last year a lot of high highs and a lot of low lows during the season. And, you know, 
being a guy who's going to be in a leadership role this year and probably playing more minutes than I did last year, I think being steady is going to be key to my success. You know, not letting one bad play determine the next three plays or not letting one good play determine the next three plays as well. Just trying to stay even keeled and uh, every play is a new play. That's, that's my mentality going into this season, you know. Uh, a lot of times if I got a turnover or something, I would shut down for two plays at least mentally. This year, I mean, turnover's got to be next play mentality. I got to go get a stop defensively. That's, that's my mindset coming into the year. Do you have a favorite moment on floor so far as an Aztec? Uh, there was a few last year. I mean... The alley-oop with Elijah? The, alley the New Mexico game in general, because like mm -hmm. in the first half, I had gotten the one block on Mashburn and I hit the three in transition and I still got... Probably my favorite picture of all time from that moment. Uh, shout out Lonnie Shoots. She got a, a photo of me with the crowd in the background, everyone standing up. And then later in that game, me and Elijah had the live, and we still have that picture. We have like a whole entire banner in our house with that picture on it. So I mean, that that was great moments. And then obviously Lamont, Lamont's game winner. I don't know if that'll ever be topped. <laughs> what was it like to throw the first pitch at Tony Gwynn Stadium? It was good. I actually have a good amount of ba baseball friends on the team. Uh, one of the dudes on the team, actually, me and him played travel ball growing up. He's from Stockton, too. Uh, we started playing travel ball at 10U all the way to 12U. We ended up winning Cooperstown. And so it, it was pretty cool, that experience. Uh, he had been hyping, up, hyping me up the whole entire week. And uh, I came out there. I think they told me I threw 82 because when I was walking through the, uh, through the dugout, one of the coaches had said something to me like, whoa, what did you, like, did you just do that? <laughs> so I think uh, it was pretty cool. It was a cool experience. Ball or a strike? It was a strike. I don't, I don't, my pop said it was a ball. I don't know how that would happen, though. Like, I, I can watch the video and replay it a thousand times, and it'll be a strike a thousand times. So, <laughs> No doubt. Miles Bird, appreciate you doing it. Yeah, we'll see course. you this uh, fall at Viejas. Thank you.